All right, so this last video uh, I'm going to make today on question, which is from Michael L. Cleveland. Well, it's basically Mike Mika L. Cleveland. And he says, I like your method. Uh, could you do a talk on labels? We label everything, and by doing so, we create unnecessary separation. Labeling people is the opposite of unity, and as long as people continue to use labels to interact with other beings, they will never be able to realize the full love of the moment with other beings. Labels are based on memory. This could be another perspective. This could be another perspective on how you are demonstrating the importance of the moment. Yes, I think I have a video about that somewhere, which is called um, "There's No Such Thing." And it kind of goes in this 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 area. But basically, what I what I have there um, is about the same thing. When we label things, what we have to understand is that a label is a mental description of a thing or a idea, even a concept. So basically, if you say, for example, um, this camera, the thing that's in front of me right there is that. It's not a camera. A camera is the label we gave it, but it's a really complicated thing. It's got plastic, which is another label. It's got glass, it's got a lens, it's got all kinds of you know, um, soldering and you know, electrics inside there. It's got a battery. With, so it's, it's a description given to something way more complicated. But the mind labels, uh, animals don't have that. So we have a, a reflective mind, and this reflective mind is a very beautiful tool, but it's become our tormentor. So much so that when we label things, we do not see anymore what is really there. So we will say a child or a tree or a flower or a bird or the ocean, but we don't even see that it's a mystery. What you're looking at is an absolute beautiful manifestation of consciousness that's alive, that's metamorphosing, that's changing like a, a beautiful dancing level of consciousness, right? It's really consciousness manifesting. It's a, it's a consciousness dance. And by labeling it, we actually kill the, the truth of it, the beauty of it, the integrity of it, the depth of these things, which are not things because their consciousness manifesting as things. So basically he says, yeah, when you label things, um, we do so unnecessary, we create unnecessary separation. Absolutely. So what we'll find in the human realm, amongst humans especially, is that we no longer see things as the way they are. We might, for example, people call themselves all kinds of things. I mean, of course, if you call yourself a man or a woman, there's an, a practical application about it. You've got, you know, certain genitals, you're different shaped, you've, you've got breast or no breast, you can have children or no children. You know, these are things, differences, fundamental differences in the physicality. But still, man or woman is a label because there's much more than just, oh, that's a man, that's a woman. No, you know, so what people try to do is they try to categorize, they try to label because it makes the, the functioning of the mind much more practical. The mind likes to have, you know, boxes. It likes to have labels and categories where it can put things because that's how the mind works. But life itself is the experience of being here and now. And when we lose the capacity to look at somebody or at nature or at a bird or at anything, a leaf, even a dirty cup on the street, the crumbled up plastic cup with dried up Coca-Cola in it. Even when you cannot label that as, oh, dirty plastic cup, somebody dropped it there. If we don't do this, we're going to destroy the planet. All that kind of thoughts that come up with the label. We just see the cup, you know, being pushed by the wind, just going back and forth on the dirty asphalt. There's a beauty about it because you don't label it. So even if you do this as an exercise, and this is something really people should do very often if they could, Drop the labels. Just look. Just be here. Just be quiet. Just be still. Just look. Feel. And see that all is life. There is no better you because you are this or that. Or you're, this is a Muslim. This is a Jew. This is a Christian. I'm, a, I'm smart. I'm, I'm rich. I'm, you're poor. Whatever. All these kinds of labels. So when we stop seeing everything through the mental realm of labeling because really labels and categories belong only to the mental realm when seeing directly here now from the stillness and silence you open your eyes you feel your sensation then there's just what is and these things are mysteries we try to call them you know doors and closets and bodies and people and 
Then we go into racism, classify everything by good and bad, right and wrong. And then we have this separation, the separation that he's talking about. So yeah, you know, Michael Cleveland, Mikael Cleveland, we do uh, use these labels. And when we do, we do shut off. So the full love of the moment is where you are here and where people can just rest as the being of life itself looking at life and not labeling it all the time. This uh, only comes, of course, with stillness and silence, and that's what I'm also speaking about in these videos. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you some clarity um, from your perspective, added something of value. I, um, I appreciate you asking questions, and, and I hope you guys share these videos. And the more view, views I get, the more I can go into certain details. Um, I'm looking at maybe writing a book soon. I'm also looking at maybe going to um, give seminars in online seminars, maybe streaming live streams where people can join and ask questions and interact. So the more shares I get, the more people I get, the more likely it is to be a feasible reality that I can actually do it and make it work. Um, uh, so please share these videos if you like them. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.